Although I have a special place in my heart for Android operating system, I won't say I am aware of every hidden Android feature that exists. But still people who own a device want to explore it to the fullest and the same might go for most of the users. Recently, Google dropped the first developer preview of Android P that is going to be the next big iteration of Android operating system. This new version has plenty of changes in store and probably you already know most of them. But today, I'm going to show you 9 amazing hidden features of Android P that you might haven't noticed yet. Excited? So let's get started. Before we get started, if you guys will find this video useful, then do consider subscribing and press the bell icon so that you get notified for our future videos. For those of us who hate the accidental rotation of their phone's display after a sudden moment, Android has always included the ability to lock the screen in portrait mode. However, let's say you lock your screen in portrait mode but want to read an article which is easier to view in landscape. Currently, the only way to switch orientation was to re-enable auto-rotation from the quick settings. But with Android P, this just got a whole lot easier. When you lock your display orientation and shift your device to landscape, a fourth icon will appear in your navigation bar to left of the back button. Selecting this button will change the orientation to landscape and lock the rotation. When you want to return to portrait mode, you can rotate your phone then select the same button to adjust your display and lock the position. Hidden away in the developer's option, there is an interesting new menu called Feature Flags within, using which you can toggle a few in development features. One of them is called Setting Bluetooth while driving, which when enabled shows a new toggle in connection preferences called Use Bluetooth when driving. The feature is pretty self-explanatory, but it's the kind of thing you would expect from an automation app like Tasker. Although Android Oreo introduced a similar feature for Wi-Fi connectivity, so it's not too surprising to see such a feature for Bluetooth, but still it could be quite useful. Next up we have Lockdown Mode. Android P allows you to temporarily disable biometric authentication methods and smart lock. Especially in a situation of distress, you can momentarily prevent someone from forcing you to unlock your device. After activating the lockdown mode, a person is required to use the PIN, pattern or password to unlock the device. To unlock this new security feature in Android P, you just go to security and location in your settings then tap lock screen preferences under device security. Next, just make sure to toggle on show lockdown option and you are all set. If you don't see this option, it's probably because you chose a swipe screen lock instead of a pattern, PIN or password. With Android P, Google is offering official support for camera and sensor cutouts. From wide to narrow, from tall to short, Android P accommodates notches for all sizes. The display cutout APIs allow developers find out the location and shape for non-functional areas where content shouldn't be displayed and design their apps accordingly. For those of you running the preview, go into developers options, scroll down to drawing and select stimulate a display with a cutout to play with these options. Next up we have indoor navigation in Google Maps and this might be my favorite Android P feature so far. Google Maps is a lifesaver, there is no doubt about that. That said, it can be frustrating to rely on Google Maps when you are inside a mall, an office building or even an indoor skywalk system. Now as long as your device has the hardware support, apps can take advantage of Android P's new RTT APIs to estimate the device's indoor position, usually accurate within 1 to 2 meters. As Google points out, with this accuracy, you can build new experiences like in-building navigation and fine-grained location-based services, especially when you're using smart home devices. The quick setting tiles received a major design revamp and the most controversial change is perhaps the fact that you can no longer expand the tiles. Not every change is bad though as the new quick setting tile for alarm has a few fairly useful features. First, it lets show you the time until the next alarm. Second, you can tap on it to view the upcoming alarm. Finally, you can long press on it to set a new alarm. It's by no means a major feature but it's certainly welcome for those of us who prefer minimalistic home screens. Security improvements are given with each Android update these days, and Android P is no exception. With the latest OS, Google goes beyond simply addressing bugs and closing loopholes. Android P now blocks app from recording you secretly and offer more encryption for backups. Android P limits an app's access to the mic, camera and sensor when an app goes idle. This prohibits malicious app from recording you through various sensors and mic without permission. Another change in Android P is that now backups are encrypted with a client-side secret, meaning your PIN, pattern or password is used to encrypt your data before it leaves your device. 
While texting or emailing, we usually use the text selector to select some specific texts. And with Android P update, this might just get a lot easier. As now we have a zoom lens effect while selecting text which is really helpful in selecting more precise text. If you're using the first developer preview of Android P, then you might have already noticed the redesigned volume control that looks amazing. But what you might haven't noticed is that with Android P, media controls are the default volume adjusted when using the volume rockers. In the new volume menu, Android P include a toggle to adjust the ringer as well. With one tap, user can quickly toggle between vibrate and mute, which is quite useful and gets the job done in a much better way. Plus, you can also keep track of media output if you are quite used to of Bluetooth devices. With Android P, it looks Google is focusing on under the hood changes which improve the overall experience of the user. And these are some amazing hidden features that you should definitely try out. If you think I have missed any hidden feature, then do let me know that in the comment section. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future video from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.